It is Mike Hill, joined by the marvelous Molly McGrath. Uh, welcome you to a jam-packed America's pregame. Big news for the Clippers today, but first, we got some breaking news we have to tell you from the UFC. You're hearing it here, right here on America's pregame first. After that showdown in the lobby of the MGM Grand last week, we were all looking forward to the big fight between John Jones and Daniel Cormier. Well, it has to wait. It was announced today that Jones suffered a leg injury during training earlier this week, and the fight has now been postponed from September 27th to January, uh, which once again takes us back to football and out the Browns camp. He was the clear leader from the beginning. That's a quote from head coach Mike Pettin today. Leader being the operative word here, as in Brian Hoyer, now officially the Browns starting quarterback for week one. Not saying that Johnny Football would have had his number called if he hadn't put up that infamous finger, but it sure made Hoyer's stock rise. Now, I'm not a huge fan of it because I feel like uh, if there's a group of people out there who are offended by the name Redskins, then maybe you should think about changing it. Daniel Snyder is going to stick to his ground. He's not going to change the name. I know you led them to three Super Bowls. First of all, I just want to get your take on the entire controversy and if they should actually consider changing the name. Well, for me, uh, the, the thing that I can kind of share with you, I was there for 15 years. I never once heard anything negative at all. Right before the All-Star break, we know Kansas City made that run, and Tigers overcame that and pushed that lead back up, and now, all of a sudden, they find themselves in a deficit again. And I'm not saying panic, but there has to be a little bit of concern there, Rod. Oh, there's no doubt about that, Mike. They really have not played good baseball lately. I mean, through New York and Toronto and Pittsburgh, uh, they were outplayed by all three of those clubs. They're just not getting it done. They're not pitching very well. The bullpen hasn't been very well done very well. They're not catching the baseball. They're not running the bases aggressively. They just are not getting it done right now. They're not playing like the team that many expected to go very deep into the postseason. Watch this team every night. Tell us, tell America, why we should get excited about this team right now. Oh, ho. hey, Mike, I'm going to tell you that they've got the three ingredients it takes to win a championship, at least to get to the postseason. you got to have strong pitching. The back end of the bullpen has been sp stellar for Ned Yost. And also, you pitch and you catch that ball on defense. That's a, a real good combination to win games. But if you miss it, don't worry. You can also catch it on Fox Network Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern. Just was, chunk it up there, baby. That was spot on. I go get it. Randy Moss, baby. 